This HAN Network video is brought to you by In Sports Trumbull. From Fairfield Ward High School, this is the HAN Network 2016 Winter Sports Tour. I'm Frank Renito, and I am joined with the Mustangs dance team captains. They are Rachel Goodman, Mia Hermson, and Bridget Coyne. Girls, thank you so much for taking time with us today. Thank you. <laughs> Rachel, let me start with you. What a successful program this has been during your career. As a senior captain now, how do you guys continue that tradition and keep the winning ways? Well, we make sure that we have everybody at our practices and we practice four times a week for three hours or more at a time. And we also have team bondings outside of practice. So we make sure that each dancer is not only strong as an individual, but we dance really well as a team. Now, Mia, you guys mentioned you don't lose a lot of girls from last year's team, but you bring on a pretty good size of girls now. What role does this group play in getting the new players acclimated to the roster? Well, I definitely think gaining eight new girls this year, it's um, the biggest amount of girls we've gained in one year. And we lost three uh, great dancers last year, but this year we're really strong and um, we've been better than ever. Uh, honestly, I think these girls have picked up the moves really quickly and I think that we're going to have a really strong season. Bridget, we were talking off the air and you guys mentioned that it's really a fall and winter sport being on the dance team. But tell us about the off season that goes all the way back to June when you guys have tryouts. So after tryouts, uh, to get the girls ready for the team um, for school year, we practice three times a week throughout the summer. Um, we try to get almost all the girls to those practices so they can get ready for the team. And then during the fall season, we do uh, we get ready. We do dances for football games, and so we can get ready to like performing as a team. And then now we're getting ready for competition. Now, Rachel, is there one competition this season that really stands out for the girls you guys are most excited for? Oh, definitely. States is our biggest competition because we enjoy local competitions a lot, but state, uh, states is the biggest one. Everybody's there, and um, we just love performing. There's a huge crowd. Mia, what is it about this year's team that's going to make it a special Mustangs dance team compared to those of the past? I definitely think since it's our senior year, um, we've won three state championships and we definitely want to carry that on this year. Uh, as seniors and as a captain personally, I'm sure Rachel and Bridget feel the same way. It's like a really important year for us and we just don't want to, um, we don't want to lose our streak. So at this point, uh, we definitely want to be strong in our state championship competition. Uh, Bridget, you guys were flashing the rings off before. You've got three of them all together here from three separate years. What do you have to do this season if you guys are going to have a fourth ring on your fingers? Well, we obviously have to work extremely hard, just like we have for the past uh, three years. And since we have 20 girls on the team this year, it's the biggest team we've ever had in dance team history. So I know that's going to be really amazing at States. And we just need to work really, really hard to get that fourth ring. Well, girls, thank you so much for taking time with us today. We want to wish you the best of luck this season. We can't wait to see you and the rest of the girls out there in the winter. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead, show the rings off for the camera as we sign out. Alongside the defending state champion Mustangs dance team, I'm Frank Renito. Make sure you stay tuned as the 2016 Winter Sports Tour continues to roll on.